So if your water well system is shut down on you and you have one of these nice big storage tanks, there's a couple of things that you can do to try to fix this thing yourself. The most important thing to do first is to come to your storage tank and determine what the water level is in the tank. What this is gonna do is this is gonna tell us what's wrong. Do we have a problem with the well that's filling the tank or do we have a problem with the booster pump that's sucking water out of the tank and pressurizing the house? And by determining the water level in the tank, that'll tell us which direction to look. So the easiest way to do this is to tap on the tank. The sound above the water level will sound hollow and below it, it'll sound firm. Another trick, if you get on a sunny day like today, you can feel the water level. Right now this tank is near full. You can feel that the water is cooler then the, the plastic is cooler where the water level is than above. Another way you can do it is simply get a ladder and uh, open up the lid and look in there, but mostly if you don't want to drag the ladder out of the garage. Once you've determined the water level, that could tell you what's wrong. So let's say your water level is down to about a thousand gallons left in the tank. What that's telling me is that the well is not filling the tank, okay? Good thing is we have some water sitting in the tank, but um, we're not able to get it right now because the water level is so low that the switch has cut the pump off. We'll go inside and uh, talk about what to do there. So we just determined that our water level in our tank was around a thousand gallons. What that's telling me is that our reserve switch has cut the booster pump off. And on our controller we have a switch here and it's normal re labeled reserve and normal. Normal is in the off position. If you flip the switch up, the booster pump should immediately turn on. What that's doing is that's using that last thousand gallons of water that we have left in that tank. So don't just walk away from that and assume that everything's fine. That's the point where you call me and say, hey, the well's down, but I'm on reserve and I'm fine. I've got water for a couple of days. You might move over to your control box. Sometimes there are reset buttons underneath that that you could push that might reset that well filling that storage tank. Most importantly, you've probably got water on now. If your tank was completely empty, this switch is not gonna do any good. The thing you gotta remember though, once we get out and we fix that well, you gotta remember to flip this switch back to normal. Or the next time you have a shutdown, it won't save that water for you. So if you determine that your water level is pretty high in this tank, nowhere near the bottom float switches, then probably what's wrong is something wrong with the booster pump. It could be the power supply. It could be the pump itself could be bad. It could be the pressure switch. We'll go inside the pump house and take a look at that. If your storage tank is full, you might go inside and check your pressure switch to see if there's something wrong with it. You can just unscrew the nut on top of the pressure switch and lift the lid straight off. Now, there are hot electrical wires in there. You don't want to touch those. They will shock you. You can see right here are the electrical points. Those are the things that turn on the pump whenever the pressure switch closes. I'll simulate that here. You saw those points close? That turned on the pump. When the pressure gets high, those points open up. Sometimes ants like to get in there and, uh, and get their little bodies in there and those little points and they can make those points where they won't conduct electricity. Or maybe there's something wrong with your switch where those points aren't closing. You could take a stick or something and force them closed or force this little pedal down on the back side and that might make it run for you. If you suspect that those points might be dirty, might have ants in there, you can turn the power off and you can clean those points with a piece of sandpaper. Just take a fine piece of sandpaper, fold it in half with a thin strip so that it's rough on both sides, slip it in between those points, close those points, against it. You should have turned the power off before you do that, by the way. And uh, work that up and down. That'll just clean those up. It just takes a few seconds on each one to clean them up and uh, see if that makes it run. If that doesn't make it run, more than likely you need to call us out to work on it. So after you check those things, there's a couple other things you can check if your water system's still not working. You might go check the breaker. It might just be that the breaker's tripped. If it is, turn it off, turn it back on, and see if it'll hold. If it keeps tripping, you need to call us or an electrician out to get it fixed. Another thing you might check is your filter. You might have a filter that's clogged up. There'll be another video where we're gonna talk about how to clean filters. Um, you can go to that, but you might just have a clogged filter. You might have a closed valve. Somebody might have closed the valve on you. Neighbor kids, gremlins, I don't know who does it. 
Sometimes they close a the valve. Make sure that they're all open. That's all the things that you can pretty much do yourself. We'd love to come out and help you in any way we can. Give us a call, and we'll rush right out there and try to get your water system back up and running if you can't fix it yourself. If you want to call us, you can also call us, and we'll maybe walk you through some of these things if you don't understand everything that we've asked you to do. Thank you for using B-Cave Drilling. We're proud to be your water well provider.